Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a strap. Now, this is a very short strap. <laughs> so you really wouldn't want it like that, but whatever length you want your straps. I mean, you may have one all the way down the ironing board. But this one, I'm just going to show you how to make one. Okay, how to fold it. So most patterns will tell you with the strap that you want it about two and a half, three inches wide to start with. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to fold it in half. And I'm going to iron it. Now, if you're sewing this into a seam, you don't have to worry about the ends because it will be tucked in and you won't see it. However, if it's going to be sewn on top of something, you want this raw edge to be gone. Okay, so let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this back up. If that raw edge is going to be shown, then I'm going to fold that little part in right there. Okay, and I'm going to iron it. Same thing for the other side. Again, if it's going to be sewn into a seam where you're tucking it between two pieces of material, don't worry about doing this at all. Okay? In fact, you don't need to do it. All right, so now I'm going to fold this back over. All right, now we have this little crease right here in the middle. We're going to take one side and fold it to that crease. Now, sometimes when we do this, that middle crease disappears, but that is okay because now we have that little piece of fabric right there that we can line it up with. So we're going to line it up with that little piece of fabric. Okay. And iron that. Okay. Now they meet, but they don't overlap. And now I'm going to fold this over. Now, and that's making such a pretty little strap. Now, if you want it wider than this, cut it wider. You get different patterns tell you different things. Now, I want you to see right here. If you look right there, you see a little bitty edge kind of sticking out. I do that. I don't make them meet exactly because that way when I sew on top of this one, I am sure, sure, sure that I'm going to get that bottom piece. And this is also the way to make bias tape out of your fabric that will match whatever you're making.